You probably clicked on this video because you're coming to Boa University, you're planning on being your world to Boa University, your world is coming to Boa University, your brother, your sister, your relatives, or anyone you know is coming to Boa University and you don't know anything about Boa University, I would just advise you now to just share this video to such person. Because in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything, if not everything, things I know about Boa University. <laughs> talking about Boa University from my head. I don't know it's all. So I'm going to be making use of my handbook. See, it's the Boa University student handbook. Yeah. If you want to know anything about Boa University, you can just go to the handbook or I'll just be making a video. Sorry. Okay. University is a private Christian university located in Iwo Oshin State, Nigeria. So yeah, it was established in 2001. It is owned and operated by the Nigerian Baptist Convention. And it was named after Reverend Thomas Bowen. The motto of Bowen University is godliness and excellence. Don't tell me you leave Bowen University without being godly. Like Bowen University is not just there to instill knowledge, they instill good values also. Bowen University has seven faculties. In Bowen University, our faculty is called college. So we have seven, I'm going to be listing them now. We have College of Health Sciences, where all this medicine, nursing, physiotherapy, they all belong. So we have College of Agriculture and Engineering Science, like um, Microbiology, um, Mechatronics, College of Computer and Computing Studies. We have OSMS, which is College of Social Management Sciences. We have College of Environmental Sciences. We have College of Law, that one is just basically for law students. And we have College of Liberal Studies. They plan yeah. on introducing another college, and that is College of Pharmaceutical Studies. <laughs> Coming to Boy University, you have to go through like call it Shege. Yes. The first week in Boy University, you go for your registration, you do orientation, or gaining admission, yeah. You guys have done your screening. You do bursary clearance, registration, medical registration, departmental registration, faculty registration, library registration. You guys will pay for Bubupaf. Bubupaf is like Boy University Parent Association Forum. Yeah. I think we pay 20k or so. Yeah, for freshers and with only students like me when I'm resuming to hundred level, I'm going to pay ten thousand naira. So I want to tell you guys something. Make sure you do your medical registration. It's a must. If I finish my registration, the first week, you guys should go check my video. I'm going to be dropping the link under the description box. You guys should not laugh because the video is kind of cringe. <laughs> um you guys are going to register your courses online like me now nursing student i think i offered 11 courses yeah and it's all done online you guys have your own ss or meant for students <laughs> forget this late registration avoid late registration departmental registration course registration avoid it else you pay fine i think some of my mates pay like about 60k yeah they mentioned it in chapel in boy university there is id card identity card and you have to put it on every time our working hours is 8 a.m to 4 p.m the evening make sure you always put on your identity card in boy university if you misplace your id card be ready to pay fine and the stress you go through will be more than when you wanted to go and get your id card so please take care of your id card also concerning the id card <laughs> i keep mentioning the id card it can show that you're a boy university student shows that you're a boy night me okay let me just let you guys a boy night is someone studying boy university and because some Boenians, Boenians are the graduates, like those people that have graduated from Boen University. In Boen University, we do most of our things online. If you want to pay your tuition fees, you pay it online. There are two methods in which you can pay these school fees. You can pay it online through your um, SS or with um, 300 general charges. You can pay it manually, like a manual payment. You send money to the bank, like, and make sure you collect the bank details from a trusted source as per fresher you have to pay 50 percent of the tuition fee before or on the day of resumption i was not attend to you 50 percent must be paid to the account first if you can afford everything at once you can pay it before or on the day of resumption i won't forget this anytime you make your payment please get your receipts and keep them very well in fact if you are coming to boy university can't forget get a folder a file i'm making a video like to show you guys all what you need to bring so get a folder it is really really necessary so you can keep all your documents your fire results let's get to the main part let's get to the part i always wanted to hear before coming to boy university let's get it guys so guys phones are allowed in boy university phones laptops 
iPad, they are all allowed in Bowen University. But about restricting iPhones, but people still use iPhones. iPhones are allowed. Yeah. In your phones, if you like own five phones, own six, not in Kosan Bowen. Shall make sure it doesn't get misplaced. If it gets misplaced, it's not Bowen's fault. Do all you guys who do phone registration, you do laptop registration. So in case it gets misplaced or anything, they'll be able to track it. So please register your devices. Electric appliances that are allowed in Bowen University are Electric iron, boiling kettle. Cooking is not allowed in Bowen University. Don't say you want to go and be bringing your cooking gas. Don't say you want to be bringing um, toaster. All those ones are not allowed. If they catch it, they will tell you to return it. Raw foods are not allowed in Bowen University. There's nothing like, ah, I want to cook noodles or anything else. They are not allowed in Bowen University. Scissors are not allowed in Bowen University. Do you know what I like about Bowen University? We have 24 hours light. Yeah. Our light never goes off and it's always. And we have Wi-Fi. Though you guys have to pay for Wi-Fi, but it's only part of your tuition fees, yeah. And I think we paid for Wi-Fi. It was 30k or so for the old session. So you guys have to go and do Wi-Fi registration also. So residence in Bowen University, yeah. No student lives outside school. We all live in hostels. There are different hostels in Bowen University. When it comes to having hostels, Bowen has a lot of hostels. And it's like this, 100 level they have their own separate hostel, 200 level has their own separate hostel, 300 level, 400 up to 500 level, even we have 600 level, yeah. And let's talk about the rooms. In your room, we have three bunks and six roommates. People you don't know from anywhere, you guys should just please pray for good roommates. Pray for good roommates like my. I had the best roommates, honestly. Shout out to all my roommates. Let me make sure their names on my channel. IBK, Damilola, NEC, Aye, Shemaima, and myself. Yeah, we were in the same room. And I can say we lived in peace and I'm on Though there are days where you guys will fight, argue. But yeah, enjoy the best out of it. And relate well to your roommates. Please don't back bite. In the hostels, noise is not allowed. If you make noise in the hostel, you'll be sanctioned. Visiting hours in the hall of residence, okay. Students may be allowed to visit their fellow students in other halls of residence, but not during the period of general assembly or worship service and not beyond 9 p.m. on any day. Visitations to halls of residence of the opposite sex is not permitted. A boy cannot go to a girl's hostel and a girl cannot go to a boy's hostel. That's what it means. Once or any party going university, you have to write a letter 48 hours before that day to the um DSS. Our graduates in Bowen University passes 6 pm except um chapel service and um videos. Yeah, to their house of residence by 10 pm. You can leave your hostel after devotion and you must be back to your hostel before 10 pm in the night. Because what are you still doing outside after 10 pm? Please. So let me just talk about the devotion because I, I keep mentioning devotion, devotion, devotion. Yes, in Bowen University we all devotion. Morning and night devotion. Devotion 6 a.m. in the morning, it lasts for 30 minutes, 6 a.m. to 6.30. After that 6.30, you can leave the hostel. And in the night, 10 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And you must be present. So, in Boy University, you know I told you about the room. There are no toilets or bathrooms inside the room. We have it separately. I was in story building and two rooms share one toilet. So that is 12 girls, one toilet. Yeah. Don't squat in anyone's room. Don't say because this is my friend. I want to sleep with her. You now carry your own bed from your own room. You will go to another. No, it's not allowed in Bowen University. It is not allowed. And please avoid such. We are already six in the room. If you come again, it will be a discomfort to other people. So please, pets. Pets are not allowed in Bowen University. So if you have any puppy, you have any cat, say bye bye and drop them at home. You, you meet them after school. <laughs> Bowen University and um, this is the answer. You can see it online, Sha. Members Tsai in Bowen University. You see this air that I made? That is drunk. It's not allowed in Bowen. You can do anything you want to do in your house. But if you are coming to Bowen University, our something is neck length. Most students, like, they do, um, they coil their hair. So it will just be bouncing, it will be on their shoulder. And it must not even touch your bra length. So there's nothing like that. If you want to pack your hair, pack your hair. If you like, go and tie donuts. Put out your tights, losing it, and you'll check the length. I'm talking from experience. I don't want to lead you guys astray. So about the boys, you have to cut your hair. No, no beards, no mustache. Shave your beard and your mustache. All the attachments are not allowed in Bowen University as well. If you want to use black, use black. The color of your hair is brown. It's still allowed to use brown attachments. We have about eight cafeteria in Bowen University where you can get food. 
You know, you're not allowed to cook, but you can buy food. A spoon of food is 100 naira. We have cafeterias like Jubilee, Kemi B, Divine, Foza, and so many more that you can Boeing makes their own bread. So, one bread is 350 naira. If you watch any of my videos, you see the size of the bread. Yeah. Just watch more of my videos. See how school life in Boeing is. We make their own bottled water too. That one is 100 naira, and the water is good. Cafeteria is open from 8 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. in the night. So like I said, Boy University is a good school. You have to see our library. Our library is top notch. Opening hours of the library, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the night. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. On Sundays, 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. So let me talk about chapel service in Bowen. In Bowen, we go to chapel on Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Sunday, like we have Sunday school in the morning around 8 30 to 9 30, then chapel starts 10 30 to 12 30. Um, Wednesdays we have um chapel service, there's no Sunday, sorry, there's not like morning service like in Boeing. So that one starts by 10 30 and finishes by at most one o'clock. Thursday, it's always in the evenings, um, 6 30 to 8 pm. There is Monday Bible study. Yeah, but it's not always in chapel. It takes place in places like Kaut, that is Chris, Alabi Lecture Theater, or NLT, that is New Lecture Theater. Oh, I know the meaning. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that one, I can't really remember. Okay, I think they do it around 6 30 to 7 30 or so, or 8 pm. But all I know is it is not compulsory, but this compulsory for freshers. I mean, your second Monday in Boeing University, you have to go. But any other Monday is it's not compulsory. Please don't stop chapel. Don't stop any chapel service. If we stop any, hey, you might go home for that. I'm serious. Okay, people have been asking me this. I'm a Muslim. I want to come to Bowen University. Are Muslims allowed to pray? Must Muslims go to chapel? Are Muslims allowed to cover their hair and everything? I'll be honest with you. In Bowen University, you know Bowen University is a Christian school. So if you want to tie your scarf, you cannot use hijab because you know normal hijab will cover your shoulder and you cannot use hijab. You can tie your scarf. To the back to cover your ear at least but no scarf is coming down don't tie it in a muslim way whether you're a christian you're a muslim a traditional worshiper everyone must go to chapel are muslims allowed to pray no but we have our way like we say but never get caught please i cannot say anything but just be smart about it and have good roommates let's go to the dress code jeans are not allowed in bowen Jeans are not allowed in Bowen. Repeating it again. Jeans, trousers, they are not allowed in Bowen University. I wear joggers, yeah, or leggings, like during sports hours. And sports are only on, I think, Wednesdays, yeah, Wednesday after, like, Wednesday 4 pm to 6 pm. And on Saturdays, after devotion, till 11.59. Please, after that, just, and then go and change that joggers and put on your skirt because if you are caught with joggers, after those two permitted hours, no, you can't know. So, talking about the dress code, like I said, the official hours are from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the evening. For females, put on skirts, long skirts. If your skirts will be short, please, below your knee. Don't wear skirts above your knee. You'll be sent back to your house. You can wear any shirts. Gowns are allowed. Gowns are allowed. So you can wear them to class. And the shoes, flat shoe. You can wear sandals. You can wear sneakers, like I said. But when nights, they don't slack. Boys have to wear trousers, their t shirts, a tie. You must wear tie. In Boy University, as for a boy, you must put on tie 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Mondays to Fridays. Then you wear your socks, then you wear your shoe. And sweatshirts, they've turned into a uniform now. So be your sweatshirt. You don't want to be oppressed in Boy University. Okay, yeah, Boy and Girls. Where are you? In Bowen, come with booboo gown. There's a gown like this free gown, captain gown, with your crocs and come with totes back. I'll be dropping them by this side. Let me create space for them. So I'm going to show you the picture. Yeah. Bowen girls are known for that. Like after class, it's a very simple gown to get. You just put it on, then totes back to go and buy your food, wear your crocs. They are good to go. Yeah, it's not students. They have to wear black and white from Monday to Thursday. Yeah. Monday to Thursday. Your black skirt, your white. Shirt. But boys, your black trousers, your white shirt, and your black tie. Dating allowed in Boeing University is boy to girl relationship allowed in Boeing University. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to read it from the handbook. Students shall not engage in any immoral relationship between male and female, including any conduct such as 
do not join in the dark and secluded places that might lead the morals of a student open to a question. Courtship among male and female adults is expected and respected. So that means dating is allowed in Bowen University. Courtship, however, should not violate university regulations. You can have a boyfriend, you can have a girlfriend, you guys are adults. You guys are adults, but please, they don't want Iran. A student who is of full age who decides to get married during his or her studentship shall give at least two months notice in writing to the registrar through his or her program coordinator or head of department or chaplain or the DSS that is student support services before marriage. That means if you want to get married in Bowen University, you want to get married, you have to write a letter and give it to you. You know all those people I mentioned, head of department, dean of college and everything. Two months before the marriage. So if you want to get married in Bowen University, please let me know. I want to come and eat rice. And there's no dying of air also for boys. Yeah. So yeah, that's all about what you know about Bowen University. From my own perspective, if there are some things I did not mention, please just ask me any question you want to ask me in the comment section. Please make sure you like, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like I said, I need one k family on this YouTube channel, and I know we are going to get there together. Congratulations on your admission into Bowen University. I hope you have a great stay in Bowen University. So if you're thinking of coming to Bowen University, honestly, I will tell you, I'm actually enjoying myself in Bowen University. Though, school is stressful, but it's actually worth it, honestly. And you guys should check out my other YouTube videos. Please like, drop comments, subscribe, do everything just to make me smile and happy. I'm to be dropping more videos too. You guys resume. I think guys I resume October 2nd. So my content is basically will basically be about Bowen University for now. So I'm going to tell you guys what you need to bring to Bowen University. No, this one is just what to do about Bowen University. I'm still going to make a video of what to bring to Bowen University, the rules and regulation and so on. So you guys should just anticipate and enjoy your break. Enjoy this break now and congratulations once again. I'm so glad I was opportunate to tell you all about Bowen University. Bye guys, see you guys in my next video. Ciao ciao.